Welcome to my unboxing of the Battle Beaver Customs Quick Pick Controller for the PlayStation 4. One thing that you're going to notice right off the bat before you even get into this box is that it says Control Inalámbrico para PS4, which basically translates to wireless controller for the PlayStation 4. I don't know why it's in a box with Spanish writing on it, but it is what it is. This specific controller came from their Quick Pick selection. They have two different variants. I'll leave that link in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, if you wanted to go through the whole customization process and really build the controller to meet your needs by adding four buttons and doing all types of customization, that's running about 12 weeks. That's something that I wasn't able to kind of put my patience to the test with. Plus with the PS5 around the corner, I don't know if I wanted to wait that long to get a PS4 controller for the PS5 by the time that it came out. Um, this one runs around uh, 180 bucks because I did get the digital uh, triggers uh, on that. And you can see your whole selection. This will be all different for yours if you did the full customization process with them. Uh, you can see that they go through everything. You can literally customize every single aspect of this controller. Now this video is just going to be an unboxing and first impressions of this controller. So don't expect my full review on this just yet. I like to put my stuff through its paces, give myself an opportunity to use it thoroughly and make sure that I'm giving you my full, unadulterated, unfiltered thoughts on this whole platform of custom controllers for better performance during gaming. If we just flip this over, you can see everything is in Spanish. It's a little weird. Uh, I mean, I did spend almost 200 bucks for this controller. Uh, but I'm gonna take it as it is. It's all about what's in the packaging, not what the packaging actually is. Before we do that, you can see that it is just a PlayStation 4 controller that's modded. They bought this somewhere and cut this open and then they resealed it back in their own packaging. So if we get in here, cut this open and see, the unboxing experience shouldn't be any different from what you would experience from a traditional PlayStation 4 controller that you get from Amazon or your store, or your Walmart or anything like that. So let's get this out of here. All right, you can see the controller in all its glory. Up top, there's a Battle Beaver custom seal, uh, you know, so you don't open it and mod it and void their warranty. One very big difference you'll notice as well is the power on button right there is their custom logo. One thing that I wanted to get on this, it was increased uh, thumbstick tension. That's not available in the Quick Pick Builder and that isn't here. Everything feels really, really great. And the star of the show on this specific quick pick controller is the digital tap triggers and bumpers. Like they're just, they're mouse clicks. Now I'm gonna hold this closer to the microphone so you can hear. I will say that I've had experience with different manufacturers like that of Scuff. Now I plan on doing a full comparison between uh, this Battle Beaver Customs controller and a Scuff Impact controller, uh, just to give you my thoughts on both of those. So if you're interested in a video like that, uh, hit that thumbs up button and maybe subscribe because that video will definitely be coming. So moving right along, let's talk about the back of this controller and you can see these two customs uh, buttons on the back. I have these assigned to X and O on the face buttons. I wish I could, uh, you know, remap them, but that is something that you can build into the custom builder. Uh, and that's not something that is available on the quick pick, which is a really kind of a downer in my opinion. I wish I could remap these two buttons considering how much I paid for it, but it is what it is. They are really loud. So from my first impressions of this, I would go with the soft touch or the soft click. They have that option available in the builder. If you're going to build the controller and not go with a quick pick, but these are substantially louder than I expected. And if you are a streamer or something like that, that could get kind of annoying for your viewers to hear this in the background. Now I didn't put that close to the microphone, but I will so you can hear it in all its annoying glory. Now having covered the back, there's nothing additional to this. This is just the standard casing for the PlayStation 4 DualShock uh, controller. Uh, there's no, you know, like military grip or any kind of non-slip grip here. I don't know how I feel about that just yet because I got used to that on some other controllers, uh, but it doesn't feel too bad. Uh, I did go with the red camo and I think it looks beautiful. So my initial impressions of the Battle Beaver Customs Quick Pick Controller for the PlayStation 4 are really good. 
I will say that this is a really nice option to go to if you don't want to wait the 12 weeks for your custom build. There are some missing parts that I wish that the quick pick controller had, and I'll talk about that here in a moment before I talk about how good this controller actually is. It has really improved my gameplay uh, insofar that the digital tap triggers and, and bumpers. Those digital clicks are really, really nice. Like these feel phenomenal. They feel great. I can't use a regular PlayStation controller anymore because it's all mushy and just feels like just like crap. These nice, nice mouse clicks. Um, and then with the two buttons on the back, Battle Beaver, I really hope that you see this video and consider adding a remap chip to map these two back buttons to whatever uh, custom button there is. If you have that capability with your custom builds. I think you should really consider adding that feature to your quick pick controllers. I don't know if that adds a lot of time to your build or whatever. Maybe if it adds five days, I would have waited five days to have a custom uh, remap chip built into this quick pick controller. That's how valuable it is. Now there is a workaround with the accessibility options in the PlayStation menu system. If you go into the settings, accessibilities and button mapping, you can custom map your face buttons and those are replicated on the back. The one thing with that though is that it screws you up with pressing the face buttons. It, you can get used to it, but Battle Beaver, really please consider adding a remap chip to your uh, quick pick controllers, both variants, because there are two different types of quick pick controllers. There's one that is just with the back buttons and it has no digital triggers and bumpers. I would not go for that one. I'd spend the extra 40 or so dollars and get the digital tap triggers. If you're a first person shooter game gamer, you absolutely want these. Now I could see where you don't want these tap triggers. Uh, you're doing racing games or whatnot. You definitely don't want these because it's zero to hundred really, really fast, you know, click or not. And there's no in between. The next thing that I would ask that Battle Beaver add to their quick pick controllers is the thumbstick tension. I really, really wanted extreme thumbstick tension. Am I disappointed a little bit because I wanted those? Uh, it's not like I can't order a custom controller, but waiting for that uh, 12 weeks to have my custom controller built is a little problematic. Battle Beaver, please, please, if anything, add a remap chip to this thing so we can custom map these two buttons on the back. That would put the icing on the cake for this controller. And now I'm gonna put this controller through its paces throughout the year and expect some update videos. Now, the bad. I've been using the Scuff Impact for a year and it has four paddles on the back. I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would need four buttons on the back. I wish I could have a lower ring finger button on this quick pick controller, but I can order that custom built into that. Um, that is one downside from my perspective after having used a controller with four back paddles. I really never interact with my face buttons anymore. Um, having played with this, I have found that I have to interact with those. Having to press the face buttons on this controller slowed me down a little bit, but my gameplay is still phenomenal with these digital triggers. And I, man, this is awesome. Um, there, it, without having the four buttons and not having experience with four buttons, if this is your first, you know, pro controller, this is going to be the controller to go for because it's familiar, you know, in design, there's no difference in the way it feels. It took me a while to get used to the scuff impact with this. It felt, I felt right at home. It felt great. And with two additional buttons on the back, you can't beat it and they're really super responsive. One thing that you may wanna note with those back buttons as I mentioned earlier is that the clicks on the back are loud. They're audible. So if you stream and you have that going on in the background, that may bother your viewers. So you may wanna order a custom controller with the quiet soft touches so you don't hear it. I mean, you can muffle it by you know holding your hands around it, but yeah, you're, you're gonna want to take note of that because that is, Something you're gonna hear in your stream, especially if your microphone's close to your hands. Just keep that in mind. So to close this video out, I have nothing bad to say about the Battle Beaver Customs PlayStation 4 controller, the quick pick variant. It is a really nice option if you don't wanna wait for their custom builds. There is the news that popped up with the PlayStation 5 that these DualShock 4 controllers will be compatible with the PlayStation 5, just not with PlayStation 5 games. So take that with a grain of salt. I guarantee you Battle Beaver Customs is going to have a custom controller for the PlayStation 5. So at this point, 
in, unless you need a controller and you or you really want one, I would say hold off until the PlayStation 5 drops and then wait for Battle Beaver to make a PlayStation 5 controller because that's exactly what I'm going to do. I want to customize that baby. If you're interested in pricing and availability of the Quick Pick controllers, I'll leave a link in the description. I have nothing to disclose with that. This is just my friendly review of the Quick Pick controller. Battle Beaver didn't reach out to me. I just saw their site and I've been really interested in their controllers for a very long time. It's just the build time is just so slow. They're a small company, so I completely understand. And with that, you know, like, I ordered this quick pick controller because I wanted to have the experience of using a Battle Beaver Customs controller and I haven't been lent down. My initial impressions are very positive and to, if I, you wanted to ask me for a recommendation based off that, I would recommend this controller to you with those two caveats that I mentioned earlier. Again, there are the links to these quick pick controllers will be in the description of the video. I have nothing to disclose. I bought this controller with my own hard earned cash. They didn't give me a discount or anything. These are my full thoughts. You know, a lot of uh, sponsored content out there. This I am not one of them because I'm not a professional gamer. I just really enjoy gaming with my friends and these make it a much more enjoyable experience because it makes the game easier. Uh, I feel like I'm kind of cheating, but I'm not, you know, because I'm just playing to my advantage with the tools that I have available. Well, that about does it for me in this one. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I'm Tomas and I will catch you in the next one.